Welcome back to Let's Play Crisis 2. I'm Burning Dog Face, and, uh, we're here in the Dark Heart. Hargreaves wants us to proceed into the Hive Core and locate Reeves and his team. I can't imagine any part of this going well. We can certainly get through this. Oh, I've just realized the angle everything is sitting at. This is like a 45 degree angle slanted down, the whole tunnel sank. Because of course it did. Yeah, this feels safe. Ticks! What? What just hurt me? Was it you? That's remarkable! This subway car has no advertisements on it at all! These plaques are just empty! Is that a sol- that is a soldier. Nah, someone just murdered him, he didn't melt. Uh, oh, here's somebody that melted, though. Do you hear that? making that noise? Seriously, is that just the background music? If I run over here, does it stay the same? No! What is that? What is that a ventilation symbol? Can't climb that. I should look in the train. There could be like an email or something in there. I'm on top of the train somehow. Actually, let me check. There's one souvenir and two dog tags here. What? Exchange marshal for marshal. This isn't a marshal. This is a marshal, but it's not the gun I had out. Top of the train, whatever. Oh, okay. The subway train on fire just slid into the room and slammed into the opposite wall for uh, Justin's sake. It was a very press wide look moment. Nano vision enabled. God damn, it is dark in here. That's fun, only certain parts of this gun are hot. I wonder what's up with that. Oh, that reminds me. Uh. uh, yes, I did turn the, uh, the stealth feet back on. Right, good. Oh, look at that. I can actually afford air friction. Provides extra control while falling. And... I kind of prefer reduce energy drain from sprinting and jumping, but I guess I need to buy this one in order to buy air stump. What's the next one in this? Oh, I can't look at it because I don't have the mo uh, well, I was going to say the money, but I don't have enough nano catalyst to reduce. Yeah, it doesn't work as well for all of them, does it? Nano vision enabled. I hate how quiet it is down here. Hey, should I worry about that electrocuting me? It's in water and all that. I guess I'm already in water, so fine. Nano vision enabled. Okay. I'm just gonna float it on the edge of that thing for a bit instead of grabbing it. That's really bright. What? That's not a light stand? Why was it so bright? Nano vision enabled. These pillars are blinding. 
Maybe they just really didn't want me to have nano vision when I walked over here, like something cool was about to happen. Well, at least there was no one danger. on this train. Danger. 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 Is that because I walked into the fire? Danger. No, it's pointing over that way. Seems to be about the fire, but... Look at that. Hello? Danger! Nanovision enabled. Which way am I actually supposed to be going? Way down there. So we're gonna look in this end of the room. I hear radios. I think that was back by that second dead body. The one who definitely didn't have any dog tags on him. Although they, those show up in these little collector cases, so I guess that makes sense. Why would you even do that? I mean, if it's yours, you probably wouldn't want to be reminded. And if it's not yours, it just feels weird to put, like, your dead dad's dog tags in a uh, special carrying case, don't you think? Oh, I don't know. I shouldn't say that. I've never lost someone to the military like that. Not a long history of military service in my family. My granddad was in the uh, Royal Canadian Navy, but uh, that's about it, I think. Nanovision enabled. He served in the Korean War on a battleship. Uh, well, I say battleship as just a generic term. I don't know if it was a battleship. But he served on a ship in the Navy during the Korean War and did not like to talk about it. Squid! Open fire! Ooh. Hey, don't mind me, guys. I'm just here. Oh, good. It's the Stalkers. It was pointed out to me, uh... He can see me. How the fuck? He saw straight through the cloak! I hear a grunt, right? Yeah, uh, a couple of people pointed that out to me. The difference between them, I mean. Because they have, uh, as uh, Ragnarok 1945 put it, they have almost exactly the same design. It's like something different about the positioning of the armor plates or something. But, uh, the stalkers are the agile ones that leap all over the place, bounce off of walls, and prefer to, s to get close and stab you. The, uh, the grunts are the ones that just tend to walk slowly towards you while blasting endless uh, ice bullets your in your direction. What the hell is that? Nanovision enabled. Hello. Beeping noise. Oh, you're the guy they killed. Okay. Oh, that's neat. I never noticed that before. It only warms up around the, the meaty part on their back. So that really is... This is the alien's body, and the rest of this seems to just be metal. Which does kind of remind me, I realized after the... What? I realized after the previous session. Tactical options available. Stab. That, uh. Well, I realized why Alcatraz's horrible circumstance seemed so oddly familiar to me. I'm getting Robocopped in slow motion. It's slowly seeping into uh, Alcatraz's body and replacing things with technology. That's horrific, man. Oh, Jesus Christ. See the water shimmering right there? I thought there was, like, a stealth, uh, Ceph sitting right there. So if I take another step, he could shoot me in the goddamn back. Where are you? I hear you. Let's grab, explore, observe. Oh boy.
God damn it. There you go. You can tag him through the walls if he wants straight at the triangle. Oh shit! Hi there. All right, big guy, where are you? Welcome to Earth. Here's some complimentary buckshot. That one's for Alcatraz, damn it. Oh, there's still enough left of him to give a shit. Range scar? Why would they offer me that under uh, underwater? Underground. Hmm. I guess it was a shout-out just earlier, even if it wasn't uh, reading out a comment. I didn't think of it that way. Hmm. Oh, here's a dog tag. That makes me feel slightly better. Huh. You know, I see this pizza box, and I suddenly find myself wondering if, uh... Well, if they lean on the Italian thing so heavily in, say, Japan. Like, is pizza just a thing there? Second thought. Oh shit! I don't know where you are. Now I do! Oh shit! Where did your buddies come from? Actually, I really don't want to know the answer to that question. I don't want to know, you know, what happens when two aliens love each other very much. For all I know, these little bastards are, uh, parasitic. Like, literally so. You know, like everyone's friend Tommy the Xenomorph was parasitic. Exploded out of some poor bastard's chest. Which gun even is this? I don't want to use the shotgun. Good, I did find your buddy. Did I touch that dead one? I know I touched that guy. I stabbed him in the face. Is this just that? Yeah, it's the room where I found that dead little camp with the dog tags in it. Why is Explorer just there? Oh, a door. Oh, okay. I can get around uh, behind the walls in here. Can't tell if that says Spaz or Spa 2 now that I look at it. What was that? Oh, X to grab this box, sure. That's another guy's little camp. Mark 60 Mod Zero. 
Huh. Well, it's very big. I might as well give it a shot. Ooh, belt fed. That's a good sign. Can I customize it? No, I can just change the site. Putting any kind of actual scope scope on this thing feels kind of silly. Maybe the laser sight. Oh, that took the reticle away. I don't love that. I will just leave it on iron sight. It is a big, heavy cannon, after all. How is it that of the two weapons I'm carrying, the shotgun is the most uh, subtle? Did I actually start my timer? I did. Good. I guess the water doesn't give a shit if I have stealth my feet. Because the water itself will also make noise. Yes, let's power kick the explosive barrel. That seems like a great suggestion. I don't think it would immediately explode. I just think it's a terrible idea. Sup, Jojo? Nanovision enabled. Yeah, no way through all this. I was kind of expecting, like, a jump scare there. <coughs> well, I don't want to be the fucking boogeyman, so I'll just decloak back here. Don't mind me, just, um... Radio Free Manhattan here, and here for those of you still clinging on in this shattered city. I got a message of hope for you people, or the next best thing. In a late-breaking and startling display of common sense, the powers that be in Foggy Bottom have rescinded the cell mandate of... Okay, just a moment. I turned the music off so we can actually hear this properly. ...over New York and deployed... Oh, get this, people. An elite force of U.S. Marines to throw these tentacled motherfuckers out of our city! So get ready for some changes, people! See, some of you maybe won't know this, but you're listening to an old Semper Fi alumnus right here. Shocked? That's right, people. Truth Newton, before shrapnel separated his legs from his body in foreign climes, was Corporal Edward Newton, U.S. Marine Corps. Hoorah! So I'm here to tell you that you don't gotta hide anymore from these newest uniforms on the block. What is that? Touching faith from Truth Newton? Hey, hey, sue my legless ass. The U.S. Marine Corps does not have shareholders. The U.S. Marine Corps does not have a board of directors or a profit motive. The U.S. Marine Corps is staffed by men and women who have sworn to defend this country. And that means you, people, against all enemies, foreign or domestic. And that most certainly includes recent arrivals from outer fucking space. Latest reports have the Marine Force headquartered at Central Station, deployed across the Midtown. So if you can manage it, anyone in Manhattan listening to this broadcast, get your asses to Midtown and the station. Make it quick, and you might have a halfway baked chance at getting out of this shit alive. Meantime, here's a little music to see you on your way. I guess I'll turn that back on. Alrighty. Huh. I like his enthusiasm, and I'm not sure it's, uh... What are you doing? Is this guy supposed to be eating this gunk? You know, that was a person, right? No, no, he's just crouching and keeps dipping down towards it, but it really, really looked like that, didn't it? For a second there, I actually thought I was about to face zombies. I don't know. I don't know if it's a great idea. Oh, that's creepy as shit. 
a, I'm guessing that's just a tick, but it's right next to a light source, so the shadow on the wall is about eight feet tall. And I keep trying to say, I don't know if it's a great idea to have that much faith in uh, any group of soldiers, really. Well, I'm burning dog face, and uh, I guess that was the timer right there. So I'll see you on the next episode of Let's Play Crisis 2 and continue making our way through this steaming hellhole. Thanking, you know, whatever powers that be might be listening that this suit filters out the stench. And, uh... Keep trying to figure out what this even me All this even means for Alcatraz. Later. <laughs>